the jump smash is the most powerful and dynamic shot in the game. The power you generate by jumping gives your smash more power and it also enables you to get a steeper angle on your shot. When you jump smash, you would likely find yourself a bit further forward in the court around this position. As the further back you move, the less effective your smash will be and it also leaves you more exposed. The most important thing when you jump smash is that the power you generate by jumping with your legs is transferred through your hips, abs, chest, shoulder, arm and finally into your racket. Also, by pulling yourself up with your arms, you'll be able to jump higher and it will give your smash even more power. We will go through the different steps that enables you to do the perfect jump smash. When you prepare to hit a jump smash, you should move back in the court, placing your feet shoulder width apart, put your dominant leg behind and your chest diagonal to the net. As you prepare to jump, you do go down in your legs, starting by pushing with your quads, extending in your hips using your glutes, and finally pushing with your calves. This jumping motion will create a lot of power that will be transferred first through your hips, then through your abs, chest, shoulder, arm, and finally into your racket. As you do the jumping motion, at the same time you want to pull yourself up using your arms, which will bring your arms into an open position like this, where your racket is slightly behind your neck, your elbow is angled to around 90 degrees, your wrist should be cocked back and you should be holding a forehand grip. As you're in the air and you want to start hitting the smash, you should kick with your legs, start rotating with your abs, and this motion will twist your upper body so that your racket moves further behind your neck and your elbow is pulled upwards so that it's in around this position. In this position, you're, you're preloaded to hit the jump smash. From the preloaded position, start by hitting the jump smash by rotating and pulling in your hips, abs, upper body. Also, throw your arm forward by stretching your elbow and finally contracting in your forearm and fingers. This will make you hit the shuttle in a clear and snapping motion. When you hit the shuttle, your racket should be high above your head and a little bit in front of your body. After you hit the shuttle, allow your racket to follow through. Because of the rotation you do in the air, as you land, your dominant leg will be in front and your opposite leg will be behind. Also, there should be a little bit more than a shoulder width apart between your legs to keep the balance better. As you land, start by pushing with your opposite leg and move quickly forward towards the net. When hitting the jump smash, there are some things to keep in mind. First, as you land, your back foot should be angled to the net and not pointing straight to the net as this causes a lot of stress on your Achilles tendon. Secondly, because the jump smash is a very physically demanding stroke, don't use it too often as it will end up tying you out. 
And finally, although we explained the jump smash in different steps, it's important to emphasize that the jump smash is done in one smooth motion. And because it's a very difficult skill combining a jumping and a smashing motion, don't expect to hit it with a perfect timing without a lot of